Alright, now let me explain this heater just a little bit. I got it for free as a sample a while back and I always kind of thought it would look cool on the bus so I stashed it away in the garage and just waited, just been waiting to install it. Uh, yes, it is secured solidly with screws to that hanging bracket that you saw and yes, it puts off some pretty good heat but it's definitely space heater level heat not like wood stove level heat or anything like that. So it's been keeping the bus kind of warm on recent nights that have been in the low 30s, but I definitely wouldn't recommend it for the one and only way you're gonna heat your own prison bus in Alaska over the winter or anything like that. I also finally found the right size hose to install my toilet. So that's all good to go. Toilet! And I got busy with some more MDF on Operation Replace the Sliding Barn Door. I know that simple cabinet doors lack the thrill and ambiance of a sliding barn door, but they just might be a little bit better in terms of the use of the space, so we'll have to see. I also finally worked out a plan for my flip up kitchen table, which I know I've been talking about a lot in these videos. All right, so the basic plan is to have a two ply looking plywood table, uh, but it's actually just one ply for weight. Uh, so it looks like it's two ply. The second ply is just uh, created by this kind of uh, frame around the outside. And that frame creates a three quarter inch gap inside for uh, locating these uh, two swinging supports. And the cut list is the top, these four pieces of the frame, and two of these swinging supports, and it's gonna take six hinges. I think that's it. The table's made of three quarter inch plywood, like a lot of the other stuff in the bus, only I went with some pre-coated plywood it has, I think, four layers of a polyurethane coating because it's getting cold around here and harder and harder to get things like polyurethane to dry.
All right, so this is revisiting a very old issue on the bus. How to keep the darn cabinet doors closed on the road when the bus is bouncing around, but then also have them be very easy to open when the bus is parked. And if you've seen these videos, you know that I've tried like three or four ways to solve this problem. I finally got these push button catches on eBay. And aside from being kind of overly plasticky for my taste, they're kind of cool and I think they work pretty well. I'm going to do something else on the drawers, which you'll see in a later video, but these push button catches work really great on the doors. Now, before installing the flip-up kitchen table, I had to dig pretty deep into my hinge stash. And then I dug a little deeper into my hinge stash. And then I dug even deeper. And I guess I need to admit that we may have a hoarding situation going on here, at least regarding hinges, but probably in a few other areas. It's completely possible. But I did find some hinges that I think will work pretty well on the table. All right, so that's a wrap for bus video number 44. Thank you for watching. You all are the best. I always appreciate comments down below. That's just awesome. Also, of course, if you share the video, it helps get the word out, which I really appreciate. You can find me as Meta Spencer on most social media like Instagram, Patreon, here on YouTube. And I'm gonna see you in the next build video. And I got busy with some more MDF on uh, operation. <laughs> All right, now 